Hey guys, Landon here with Prey and Adventure. We are on another epic trip in the Prince William South. We have the whole family. Little Fisher, Leo, Caleb, and Jen. And we're going to spend in the next three days shrimping, fishing, and of course looking for bears. Jen is trying to harvest her first bear out here in the Sound. And I'm looking to get one with my bow. Stay tuned for this heart pumping, thrilling action ride as we chase bears on the beach. Make sure you like, subscribe, and let's jump right into the action. Alaska is home to a massive population of black bears. Somewhere between 100,000 to 200,000 roam the state's wild places. One of the best spots to find them is right here in the Prince William Sound. Thousands of these bears live among the coastal forests and islands. It's an incredible place to hunt. With breathtaking scenery and some of the best opportunities for bear hunting that you'll find anywhere. But hunting here isn't just about the thrill of the chase. Sustainable harvest is key for keeping these populations healthy. We use everything the bear gives us. Meat for our family, the hide for practical and traditional uses, it's about respecting the animal and ensuring that future generations can enjoy the same experiences we do. All right, we got the bear spotted. He's just grazing, he's just eating grass. We have another one that just came down the water right here. It's about 10 p.m. right now. And like it's still light out, we can still see him. So we're gonna try to sneak up on him. This will be my first black bear. No, Prince William Sound. Maybe both of us get a bear today. We'll see. This is almost like too easy. Like we waited around for maybe 20 minutes and Landon already spotted two bears. Like what the heck is going on? It's just eating. So we just made it to shore. We're trying to figure out which one we should go after first. This one to our right. He's completely clueless that we just landed. It's right around the corner. Super easy shot. This one to our left, I think it's a lot bigger. So we gotta figure out what we're gonna do. Oh, 
Peter drops that. Sorry. I was right on his shoulder. But he ran pretty quick. I'm sorry. That's okay. Is this sighted in? Yeah, I just sighted it in yesterday. It's right on his shoulders. And super sad. We looked for any sign that the bear might have been hit, but it looked like a clean miss. I don't see anything. Everybody processes a miss in their own way. And it looks like Jin needed some comfort food. Oreos and milk help soothe the pain. <laughs> you might wonder how we all sleep on the boat. Three dogs. Three <laughs>
boat. Let me see that fish. Every hunt has its highs and lows, and no one knows this better than Jane. At the beginning, she faced disappointment. She missed a bear, and you could see the frustration in her eyes. She was down on herself, but something deep inside her pushed her to try again. It's moments like these that lead to the true spirit of perseverance. The best part? We all got to share this unforgettable moment as a family. Leo, Caleb, and our two-year-old Fisher were there to witness their mom's accomplishments. <laughs> fish, fish. Caleb! <laughs> this hunt was more than the bear. It was about perseverance and the moments that we share with the ones we love. After we got Jen's bear hauled back to the boat, we decided to go pull shrimp pots, do some fishing, and then it's my turn to step up to the plate. Except this time, I'm going to have the bow in hand and I'm looking to get close.
like going straight in the mail. I thought it was going to come down. And I was like, all right, draw. I had held my bow for so long until I couldn't hold it no more. Like my muscles just gave out. <laughs> right when it was 20 yards away. Shot that bear. I saw him kind of go up this hill a ways, but I didn't get, I didn't get full penetration or clean blast kind of pass through my arrow. But I got quite a bit of penetration, probably about ten inches of my arrow, ten or twelve of my inches of my arrow still in them. this hill. So we're going to give it some time. You can hear a moan or anything. There's blood right here. quite the penetration, hit him kind of right at the point of the shoulder. I didn't quite get the penetration that I thought was a great shot. So he probably only went, I don't know, 60 yards up the hill. He was, found him right here. Bear down, number two. As for me, the hump brought its own thrill. I was fortunate enough to take a bear with my bow at less than 20 yards. There's something special about being that close, just you, the bow, and the bear. It's an intense and humbling experience that I'll never forget. But perhaps the best part was sharing this journey with the whole family. Leo, Caleb, and Fisher were there every step of the way and got to see firsthand what hunting is truly about. We utilize every part of these animals, meat for our family, hides that I'm making into a blanket, and nothing goes to waste. And that's what's important to us. If you liked that video, please make sure you like and subscribe and follow us on our other social media, Brain Adventure TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook, and we'll see you next time.